Hello, people. Welcome back to the Resident Evil Revelations 2 playthrough. I am your host, Chad Marco. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, as I see, it's that leg. This place is awful. Hmm. So there's a guy over there with a parasite. Parasite? I think it's a larva. I'm thinking a goddamn uh, <laughs> Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I saw you, bitch. Oh, shit. He's skipping to my loot. Okay, got him. At least I know when I see that that bright yellow mark. That's definitely one of the, those guys. Barry, can you get the fuck out my way? God damn, dude. I hope she can climb back up. Coming. I'll worry about searching the place after. Barry, what the fuck? I said stay there, man. God damn, man. Look at him just standing there coughing and shit. You dumbass bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you, Barry? God damn. Stay there. Okay. Stay there. Stay your bitch ass right there, god damn. The fuck is wrong with dudes? Oh lord. There's something ahead. Be careful. <laughs> I 
He better not get up. I swear to God. Don't do that shit to me. He better not get up. If he gets up, that is absolutely ludicrous. Absolute, like, dude. I feel like this is the time that they're going to do it, too. Like, this is when they're just going to say, fuck you. I don't care that you shot him. He's getting up. Right now. I can't believe they didn't do it. This is just awful. <laughs> Just got to breathe, out of, just breathe it all in like a big fart. What do they do in jail? Like when somebody got a fart, like do they just like, I'd imagine you want to at least give your, give your bunk mate a warning like, bro, I'm about to let it out. I just can't hold it in no more, bro. Clover your nose, dog. Well, we got that. Oh, God. I still feel like that dude was about to get up. What is this? Written in Russian, February 11th. I'm finally going to get a chance to work for... Our benefactor down in the mining facility gonna be rolling in the big bucks now I had no idea until they hired me but apparently they're making pharmaceutical products down on the lower levels you gotta have a permit to even go down there and security seems pretty tight must be some pretty important stuff going on down there March 24th she's got her own staff working in the research facility but there are also some of us islanders working for her as well everyone who works directly under her gets a nice fat paycheck the money the status who wouldn't want that but lately they've been bringing a lot of new people in they're not particularly smart or useful it's just they just need people by the dozens I've seen a lot of people go in but no one comes out I guess there must be another exit somewhere down there right oh no they're just getting rid of the undesirables using them for deadly experiments nothing out of the ordinary in the world of resident evil and evil pharmaceutical organizations ruled by tyrannical <laughs> where did i get that from that's stewie right from family guy that's my shit It's kind of a shame that I, I stopped watching TV around the time that the Cleveland Browns show got hot. I never got to enjoy that. I pretty much seen like that's a ventilation system. If we can get it working, it might clear out the gas for us. Yeah, I seen like most of the Family Guys because that's when I was like young, growing up watching Adult Swim. But I kind of missed out on the on the Cleveland Browns show wave. Which is unfortunate as a as a young black man. It's like playing pool almost, just knocking them in the hole one by one. All right, give me the lay of the land. Definitely one standing up there. Just stay there. Oh shit. Oh yeah, just had to be one there, huh?
That bitch jumped the fuck down. You stupid bitch. You stupid fucking bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, dude. The shortcomings of AI reared their ugly head in a video game yet again. Damn. Would there ever be an AI with common fucking sense? I just do not believe it will be. God damn. I shouldn't even have to tell them not to stand in the gas. That should, that should be automatic. If we get close to one of those bugs, she'll automatically be like, hey, man, watch out, because that's just common sense shit. She can sense it. Just stay there. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, Lord. I mean, that's, dude, that's just common sense. Don't jump into poisonous gas. Like, I got to instruct you. I got to give you a fucking memo to not jump in the gas. <laughs> I got to break that down. I got to, I got to explain that. Don't get into poisonous gas. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these kids? The fucking Zoomer generation, man. And the boomers. Barry being stupid, too. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Y'all know better than this shit. <laughs> My ass hurts. Sitting in this damn chair. That damn puzzle, man. Oh, fuck, went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well, God, I hope that doesn't... Oh, why would they put this here in the gas? Sometimes the researchers carry these boxes to the back rooms. I accidentally caught a glimpse of inside one. It looked, looked human like it used to be but that's crazy i mean that's crazy right no 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 my imagination is just running wild you can't do that kind of thing still it makes the mind think things can't help but be a little worried for my family now so my imagination got the best of me i had to know what was inside of those boxes god damn it be careful what you wish for it was human bodies our bodies the bodies of my fellow islanders all chopped up into pieces. Research, this is nothing more than sick, twisted murder. Those boxes, they've been coming through every day to think that every time that woman, we trusted her, we thought she was helping us. Instead, she's just using us. I thought maybe I'd overacted it a bit. Thought I'd give her a chance to explain. I asked her to meet with me, but she ignored my request. So it comes to this. I'll force the truth out of her. Just apply a little pressure and she'll cop to what's been going on here. I've been working hard all my life and she's a thin little woman. I can overpower her easily. I don't like the idea, but something must be done. I'm all out of options here. Someone needs to stand up and do what's right. Might as well be me. I'm coming for you, Alex. You're going to regret the day you decided to mess with us. Something tells me this guy wasn't very successful. I don't know, just kind of a hunch. I could be wrong.
This is all so tiresome. <laughs> this is all so tiresome. I don't know how I feel about this part. Is stay there. Sorry, can't. Oh god damn it. I don't know how I feel about this part. It's very worse. It's it's tiresome. I'll say that. This is like It's kind of like um Let me see. What I should give him something. It's kind of like those threads on V where they say, uh, think about replaying a game. Remember that part? This is that part. <laughs> this, this is that part that would make me not want to replay this. And it's crazy because, like, it seems like almost every game has that. As much as I love games, any game, most games have at least one part that'll make me be like, you know what? And nah, I'm good. I just, I don't want to do that part. This is that part for me right now. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't have any room. Uh, run, girl, run. That shit gonna stay there too, bro. I ain't even about to fuck with that. What's, what, what do we need here? What's the problem? Can we even get out of here? Okay, which way didn't I go? Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Teamwork always makes the dream work. Go, 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 go. Now I gotta navigate her little ass there. I don't even remember which way I went. Yeah, I think it was. Which way did I go? Oh, I, oh yeah, it was this way. Oh, oh God. Dude, did. Oh god, I somehow went the wrong way. Magnum 2005. <laughs> oh, great.
my god, oh my god, she gotta hurry up. This bitch about dead. That bitch almost died. Just stay there. Okay. Oh look, before you do that though, check out this little area. Make sure. I gotta go back and get that magnum. Just stay there. I can't. <laughs> I feel so stupid doing this, I swear. How can you not just feel fucking retarded running through poisonous gas like this, bro? And damn, that's the wrong way. Like, how can you not just feel goddamn retarded? I know it's what you gotta do to survive here, but goddamn. Magnum 205. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for later. I might have to double magnum a motherfucker out here. <coughs> this goddamn bitch standing here. Follow me. I'm sorry. Follow me. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, I laid that fool the fuck down. That damn sniper rifle do work. Should I even worry about killing him? Well, let's charge in like idiots. With no regard for our health. And I think I went the wrong way. I sure did. I guess that's why they put the Magnum there. So my previous theory was wrong. Holy shit. Hello. God damn it.
Oh. I figured that's what it was. Well, back on up. Two to three gonna make them back it up. Back it up, back it up. Two to three gonna make them back it up. Oh, he got so close to. <laughs> Just lure him out. Ain't no point fighting him, damn poisonous gas. Oh, look at this guy. Please just drain all the gas instantly. I was just thinking. We can get through now. I was just thinking, we got that key. Why can't we just use it? And I realized, like, oh shit, yeah, we're we're dying <laughs> because of the gas. The whole point was to get rid of the gas first. Yeah, that was one of them parts right there, man. Where it's like, oh, I don't want to do that again. Why does Wesker have it in for you? I don't know. I only talked to her for a little while before I got really sleepy. And I guess the answers will have to come from her. With Mora dead, they could do like a Barry Claire Ugh. team up. That's one nasty bowl of soup. This was like a boss room. Okay. How did you? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Oh shit! Seriously, why not? You know, Natalia is probably Alex Wesker. Mora's dead. sense anything yeah just let claire and barry team up but i think isn't claire like all fucked up right now like going through like some ptsd shit gotta be a workbench in here right oh no i see specimen request for a cultivation plant quantity 70 human location industrial zone residence in block 1721 how are you gonna get 17 i mean 70 people when you only got 17 21 people in there what are you thinking, Alex? You're asking for too much. Oh, God. Man, that bitch was fucked up for real, though. Oh, whoa. Nice place to set up house. Like a movie. I wish I could live here. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I've had my fill of mansions. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. Right when I thought this game was letting me down, they redeemed themselves with a mansion. 
with a mansion stage or a mansion area. Whatever you want to call it. Stages, areas. We don't care anymore. We're in a goddamn mansion. Emblem key? Oh my god, this is Resident Evil 1. I'm Barry in Resident Evil 1. I always dreamed of this. This is what I always wanted. Is that a real zombie? That look like a real Oh, oh, fuck. Leg boy. I'm about to show him the importance of leg day. This music? Oh, God. They went all out. Stop. This guy looks like a legitimate zombie, bro. Old school. None of this new bullshit. I was trying to get the drop on him, but I think he kind of set up shop now. But you know how I like to do. I still get your ass. I just got to get that. Dip out. Okay. Oh, man. That's so cool. They rewarded me with this. You just, oh God. You know I'm fucked up. I look, I look at a mansion filled with monsters as a, as a, a video game reward. I'm digging it though, man. This is cool as fuck. Alright, leg day. All the way. Oh shit, which way is it? Okay. Leg day all the way. Dip out. Oh shit! I tried to. I should evade it. I always forget. He did hella damage though off that one. Off that one hit? God damn, dude. Oh my god. It don't matter, bro. The second you whip your ass around that corner, bro, it's over with. This dude, god damn. Bro, just come on, bro. Let's get it over with. <laughs> he thought the chair was going to protect his leg. His little leg. I'm going to call him little leg. He whacked the shit out of me, though. Damn, I should have used the eBay, but. I think my problem is that usually I think Resident Evil 3 traumatized me. <laughs> and just how how hard it is to effectively evade in that game. I, I don't have faith in survival horror games with the fucking evade button. Cause really that's the last thing you would want to put in your survival horror game. Cause then it would make, it would kind of, it would trivialize enemy encounters just a little bit. Well, it, well, not a little bit to at least a moderate degree. If the player knows how to do it. So I don't really, you know, I don't have, I never had faith in these kind of mechanics, not in survival horror games. That was a whole nother way. I didn't go though. Yep. I'm turning all the way around. Suck my dick. Ooh, I can sample this song into a nice beat. You guys know I rap. I make music. One thing I figured out is that a trick you can do to make a hot beat easily is to get a sample. And even if it don't sound like something you can use, just reverse that bitch. If you take a sample and, and reverse it, you never know what you're going to get. 
I made a couple good beats just because I found a sample that I wasn't able to use in its, in its normal state. But then when I reversed it, it turned into something totally different and, use, and usable. That's how I made that Opa beat. Oh God, we were just... We got way too much shit. Developing the T-Phobus virus turned out to be my lucky break. The other researchers didn't see any merit in it. A virus that triggers upon the subject feeling fear. My thoughts exactly. What value is there in that? <laughs> Reacts to ne ne norepinephrine? That's useless, they said. Fortunately for me, Alice didn't think so. After reading my report on the virus, she became very interested in its unique pr properties and made me the head of the research team. As we neared its completion, she then made me the chief researcher. Alice appreciates my genius. It's an honor to work for her. T Phobos. What was she trying to accomplish? That's a good question, Barry. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh boy. And now I'm remembering what I hate about fucking mansions and classic Resident Evil shit. Locked doors, man. Nah, but seriously, I love locked doors. It's just more shit to explore, man. It's just more shit to explore for me. But the question is, would Alex Wesker fuck a black guy? Mm hmm. I would say no, though. I feel like Alex, she's... She's the damn near too focused on science and, and killing people and making biological weapons to even care about sex. If anything, she's still a virgin and would die a virgin. Sex is the last thing on her mind. She's all about the science, baby. She's like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. But if he was a, a, a beautiful, sexy female... I like her design in Resident Evil uh, Resistance more, though. She's actually pretty cute in that game. In this game, she's like she's she's attractive, but she has like a more like like more like a womanly attractiveness, like 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 almost like a hot blonde. And in Resistance, she's like closer to cute, you know. I guess she, I guess she just she, she looks younger in resi in resistance. Oh fuck! We got so much shit. Oh my god! We might have to drop something. Yeah, we're gonna just. Oh shit! You can pick it back up. That's cool. I'm not picking it up though. That cloth shit has really not been useful. If I have to, if I gotta, if my inventory is full, that's what the fuck I'm dropping. Easily. Yeah, I don't have a lot of decoy bottles, but I don't know. Are they really useful? I'd rather make shit explode, <laughs> to be honest. When it comes right down to it, I'd rather make shit explode. The decoy bottle does have its uses, but oh, wow. One, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Was that five of them? If that door locks behind me, man, we are fucked. It's those things Alex created them, all of them. Nope, duh, man. Come on, Wesley.
Let's see. My motto is kill or be killed. Maybe I don't have to kill him, right? But I'd rather do it now. <laughs> I'd rather do it now than to bump into like one of those Resident Evil moments where it's like the glass breaks, the experiments come out, and you have to kill them all at the same time. I'm just making an investment in my in my future and my health. And later, I'll do the research and see if I had to do that or not. And then I'll laugh. <laughs> but I'm certainly not going to take any chances. I mean, think about it. How many Resident Evil games have there been where you... I mean, it's not like it happens all the time. But I can remember a couple times... Like, whenever you find a fucking biological weapon that's still in storage, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they're going to break free eventually and get you. They did that in Resident Evil 4 with the regenerators. I'm pretty sure that, I think it happened in like Resident Evil 3 remake, or was it the 2 remake? But I, I, I know that's happened at least like three times in these games where you find them like in the glass and they end up like breaking out. That's how Wesker got fucking skewered in the original game. He thought it was a fucking game. Tyrant jumped out of that motherfucking glass. No, in fact, no, I think Tyrant came. He let Tyrant out and Tyrant just smoked his ass. I remember now. I give Wesker a pass for that then. Oh God, do I go down or? Please tell me it's locked, it's not locked. <sighs> I'd rather go, I'd rather stay on this level and just do do this first then. What is this, brick? Headshot. Double check the area. It's been a while since we found one of those boxes. One of the small hand boxes. Oh God, imagine what's in there. Oh, that's great. Okay. I'm gonna be so ready for a boss fight. It's ridiculous. I mean, he's just gonna be so fucked. I got so many bombs. Report on the Ouroboros virus. The Ouroboros virus takes root in organic material. If injected into a corpse, it will create a core and then reorganize organic material around that core, thereby reanimating the corpse. The core serves as the control center of the organic growth. Destroying the core will negate the reanimation process. Its ability to propagate in organic matter is extremely high. Were a sample ever breached, the confines of this facility, this island would be turned into a graveyard. Security measures must be enforced to the strictest degree. Figure she would have gotten her hands on Uroboros too. Barry saying that, like, this little girl give a fuck. 
Although she probably does because his little girl is actually Alex. Starting today, we begin research on the effect of the Ouroboros virus when used with corpses. Every day we receive a great number of corpses are delivered to our doors. Every day, a great number of corpses are delivered to our doorstep. That's what it should have been. Stewart certainly does work hard to ensure we never have a short shortage of research materials. We started right off the bat injecting the virus into a corpse. The corpse became reanimated like some sort of marionette. An aggressive marionette, to be sure. It attacked anyone it came in contact with. This line of research is starting to look more and more like bioweapons development. No fucking shit. The hell you guys think you're working on? Goddamn makeup products? This shit is for death and destruction, my man. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. I got two magnums. I'm fucking balling. No, that's definitely locked. A new gun? Security card. That's a lot of reading in this damn episode. The corpse of the researcher who was killed by the test subject was sent to the morgue in the back of the observation room. The body has been sterilized. Personal artifacts such as keys have also been sterilized and are being kept in the morgue. I ain't got that shit. This berry part seems like it's long as fuck. Not that I mind. I, I told you guys, though. Like, they got to make up for that, that, that last clear level, man. That shit was not good. It was really a wasted opportunity. Given the environment they had available to them, they could have really expanded on that lab. The fuck was that? Probably the invisible man again. I think it's about time we encounter one of those motherfuckers. Yep, look at that. I hate those motherfuckers so much. God damn, they just, they just did a waste of goddamn ammo. I swear. And I hit him, but he just moved out. He just moved out the way. Oh shit.
steady now. Oh, shit! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Oh, my God. He scared the fuck out of me, man. I was like, he gonna just slowly, retardedly walk <laughs> to the, towards this area. No, sir. He did the opposite. That motherfucker took off like you saying boat. God damn, that shit startled the shit out of me, man. Oh my god, dude. Alex, you are just fucked up. Yo, I ain't even gonna lie, that shit, that shit spooked the fuck out of me, bro. Probably the most spookiest moment in this game. That he was so fast, like what the fuck? That dude was fucking boat. He that dude was not fucking playing. That's what I get though. Never underestimate your opponent. I was ready though. I I dealt with it the best that I could. But I, I definitely wasn't expecting him to fucking speed up like Sonic. That motherfucker went Super Saiyan. One thing they could have done to kind of trip up the player is have enemies on the ceiling. The security for the cultivation plant has been set to level 2 owing to the chief's death in the accident while conducting experiments. I heard the new security cards will be given out from the chief's room. I only overheard this, so I guess I'm not getting one. Maybe that's for the best. These cultivation experiments with the Ouroboros virus seem pretty dangerous. Something in the morgue. Of course, goddamn. Ain't there always? Hell yeah. YOLO ah, Great, my lucky day Whew. Now, I knew it was something in there, we all saw that but I thought that maybe there was like a secret item in there or something. You know how they usually do. Like sometimes they reward you for being stupid. <laughs> you know, you know it's true. You know it's true. A lot of times these games, they'll have like extra resources hidden behind like certain, certain like, like it'll be an area where it's like, you know you ain't got to go there. You know it's extra dangerous, but you'll be rewarded with resources if you do it. That's typically what you will see survival horror games do. Really, really a lot of games do that. Like they'll 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 put like extra resources behind danger. And so you got to make that decision. Like, do I go for it and put myself at risk or do I just leave it alone? Harry, there's something over there. Oh, 
boy. Like I saw him that time. I hope I'm going the right way. Thought I saw something. There we go. This will be a good place to put one of those bugs at. Can't lie. It's what I would have did. Kind of crazy, but it's always smarter to let Natalia lead the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Battery disconnected. Oh my god. Are you serious? They're serious. Oh my god. Let me see if I can figure this out real quick. This is gonna make my CPU go crazy. But that's the times, you know. Okay, that was the entrance. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Today's steward came through and delivered the sample we've been waiting for, the Ouroboros virus. We finished work on T-Phobus, so we'll be working on Ouroboros from now on. The underground level of the facility is being converted specifically for this purpose. I'm so thrilled to continue working under Alex's brilliance. Okay. Let's see, make sure. Okay. God, we got way too much shit. I should get rid of something. Smoke powder. Yeah, I don't, I don't need all this smoke powder. Yeah, she can get that. Yeah, man, it's an easy way to make room. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and I will return later with more Resident Evil Revelations, so stay tuned.